Hello and welcome back. It's puzzle time with Sido Cthulhu's. I'm going to be playing Mondulo Cages this morning. Now, after I re finished recording yesterday's puzzle, uh, I, I should have mentioned first, I ordered a new desk, you know, a bunch of reasons. And essentially, I spent the next, I'm going to call it seven hours assembling this desk, moving stuff across. It was a lot of work. It's a lot of work. I mean, the desk itself is like 50, 60 kilograms, let alone all the other equipment. And I'm only talking about the frame, by the way. I haven't even talked about kind of the wood top and all of that. So I'm physically exhausted. So much so that I'm actually recording this the night before because I don't think there's any chance I'm going to wake up on time to be able to record a puzzle for Sunday morning. Um, hopefully this is just physical tiredness, not mental tiredness, and I'm going to be able to absolutely smash this particular super Sudoku modulo cages. And you can see Sleuth here playing with various numbers and cages in the background, uh, I guess doing a bunch of maths. So this is going to be definitely a good mental test for me. Um, anything else I want to mention before we take a look at today's puzzle? No, let's crack on and uh, take a look at the rule sets because they are new. So, Modular Cages by Ook. Standard Sudoku rules apply. Place the digits 1 to 9 once each in every row, every column, every 3 by 3 box. That's fairly standard. Then we have... Actually, I'm going to cover the X's and V's. Then we're going to come back to the Modular Cages. So, X's and V's, cells separated by an X must sum up to 10. So, if that cell is a 2, this would have to be... Oh, hello. That's better. If that cell is a 2, this would have to be an 8 to make sure that these two cells add up to 10. Um, cell separated by a V must sum up to 5. If that cell is a 2, this would have to be a 3 to make sure that these two cells add up to 5. Not all X's and V's are necessarily given, so no negative constraints. 2 and a 3 in here. 3 making a 5 without a V, not a problem. Uh, 3 and a 7 in here, making these two cells add up to 10 without an X, also not a problem. Now, here is the interesting bit, and we're going to do clearly a bit of maths in our future. Modulo cages. So digits in cages have to be congruent, modulo, the given number in the top left corner. This means that all these numbers, when you divide each of them by n, the leftover piece, the remainder, is the same for all the digits in the cage. So example, digits in an n equal 2 cage, such as this one, could be 179 as in odd digits because all of these numbers have the same remainder of 1 when divided by 2. Digits with an n equals 6, such as this one, could be 2 or 8 because they both have the remainder of 2 when divided by 6. I think that's clear. Right, uh, digits can repeat in these modulo cages, uh, thankfully, because you know, I'm already looking at this and thinking this is not going to be easy. Uh, it is a one-star difficulty rated puzzle, which is the one I picked so I can actually get to bed. Hopefully, it'll be a quick solve. And uh, with that said, uh, good luck trying to solve this particular one. This is going to be interesting. We haven't played something quite like this before. As always, link will be in the description down below for you to enjoy. And with that said, I'm going to restart the clock, see how I get on. Let's have a think. So are any of these particularly awkward? Is what I'm guessing. So two, So obviously the smaller the cage, like as in the smaller the, the N in the cage, the fewer possible remainders there are. So that's less interesting actually. The higher the number in the cage, let's say an 8, I think this can only be one nine. Because essentially, everything else will have a different remainder. Two would have a remainder of two, three would have a remainder of three, we get to eight, it would have a remainder of zero, and only one and nine would have a remainder of one. So that's one nine. Right, off to, I don't want to say a decent start, but a start. Six. Remember, digits can repeat, so less interesting. Stick to bigger cages, they're more restrictive. Seven. So one and two repeat, as in remainders of one and two repeat. So either this is one eight 
or 29. And I can't determine which it is just yet. Two, we know that it means that essentially these cells, and I'm actually thinking that it all has to be the same parity. Did this inner cage have to be congruent modulo? Yeah, so it's the entire cage, not it's not separated by the box. So all of these are one parity. Let's go with purple. And then orange is going to be the opposite parity, clearly, uh, because to get to five, one of them will be even, one of them will be odd. I was so tempted to say this is orange, but obviously if this is odd, I could... No, 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 if this is odd, that would be fourth odd. I can't have two odds. If this is even, that's three evens. I can't have another two evens, four and five. So this is orange. Orange is actually a bad idea because normally orange is associated with odd, so green is the better option here. Right. So I think three digits that clearly have to be unique. I think this has to be 159, doesn't it? Everything else, let's just think of, yeah, 159 is essentially the two extreme digits and the middle digits. They're the only ones that have remainders of one, and therefore all the rest are going to be in the middle and only going to have remainders of, you know, there will only be two digits that have remainders that are the same. So two and come on so this two and six would have a remainder of two but there isn't a third one so this is indeed one five nine obviously to add up to five this would have to be the one this would have to be the four this now has to be two or three five nine gives me one gives me nine now take a look at this i've already got three odd digits in row five I'm pretty sure these are not going to be odd. So purple is actually even. Green is actually odd. And we can place more digits. Excellent. So this is essentially 468. And whatever these two digits are, they're in here. Because we've got basically the entirety of this in column 8. I don't know if I'm going to keep using parity, actually. I'm not sure I am. These are odd, and they're not 1, 5, or 9, so they have to be 3, 7. This cell is not, or they can repeat, remember, so you, it's not 1, 9 in this cell, but it could be this cell, or a 5. That's not 1, and if that's not 1, that's not 8. That's all I can do at the moment. This has to be an even digit. In fact, it's this even digit. Not sure I can do a lot more than that. Um, let's think three. There's plenty of options. It's essentially one, four, and seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine. Yeah, this is not helpful. The fact that they are allowed to repeat is making it quite hard, to be fair. It'd be nice to be able to solve this one, but I can't. Let's just do this for now. 468. Another 468. There's a 9 in here. There's a 1 in there, and then essentially a 5 or a 7, and then a 5 or a 7. I, I'm, I'm pencil marking. Not what I normally do, by the way, but I mean, I'm 
kind of running out of ideas, so I am going to go for it. Remember, these are not even, so I am going to use parity. Let's just think about it this way. These two are odd digits. And then they need to be modulo 3. So let's have a think about it. Um, 1, 4, 7. 2, 5, 8, 3, 6, 9. So these two would have to be odd. And I think that for, therefore 258 is out. It would have to be either 17 or 39. And therefore this would be the middle digit of 4 or 6. Yes, because they have to be three unique digits. And then whatever one this is, 1739. It's in here, and it's not one nine, it's three seven. Therefore, that's another three seven, and therefore that's the one or nine. That's another three seven to add up to ten. Hopefully that kind of made sense. So essentially this group is either one four seven or three six nine, and we know that these two are odd digits. Uh, and we know because I only have three options, like three digits in um that would give me the same remainder with three, modulo three. So essentially, these are two of them. The third one would have to repeat in here. And this one, I've already, I know it was odd, because that's the even one, two odds, one even. Um, and it couldn't be one nine, therefore it's three seven, which is what's in here. Um, if I have a seven, for example, that would have to be a one. If I have a three, that would have to be a nine, hence the one nine. Right, three seven inside a six will take a look at that in a second but um, yeah the parity was actually more helpful than I was expecting like a lot more helpful than I was expecting so we may stick to it actually I mean look at this in in that regard we've already got four of the odd digits so let's think about this six cage, given just how much we actually have looking at it. So the only thing that we can eliminate is six, isn't it? So one, two, three, four, five, each will have a remainder of themselves. Then the six will get to a zero. Then we'll get to nine, which would have a remainder of three. So I'm actually only allowed 1 and 7, I'm actually going to just write this down, 1 and 7 is one option, 2 and 8, 3 and 9, so essentially whatever this digit is, it's the same in here, and you can see that 3 and 9 won't work, they're not available, so 3 and 9 is gone, 1 7 is gone, this is like a triple 2 8. And that 2 gives me an 8, an 8, and a 2. And that 8 removed the 8 and 1 option. That's a 2, 9. That's not a 2. That is the 2. This is 4 or 6, which means that's 4 or 6. That's a 4, 6 pair. Need a 2 in one of these two cells. And then all of the rest is opt. And I am sticking to this for a second because uh, the 5 pretty sure there has to be one that's odd and one that's even. Let's think about this. Essentially it's one, six. Yeah, they're five apart. Two, seven, three, eight, and four, nine. And obviously the five doesn't work as a remainder of zero and there will be nothing else. But essentially one of these has to be even to be five apart. And it's not the two or eight. So the three, eight option is gone. The two, seven option is gone. This is either one six or four nine, both of which are possible. If it's a four nine, that would be the nine, that would be the four. If it's a one six, um, no real distinction, but it does mean that this is definitely odd and these are all even.
yeah, I'm I'm sticking to this. Yeah, let's just go for it. Odds again. No, not odds again. I mean, there's a two. Come on, sleuth, wake up. This six cage now that it has a three seven. I really wish I didn't actually delete all my all the options again. So remember, they're going to be six apart. So it's either three nine or one seven are my options, and there are only two digits that are the possibility. So that three seven is essentially repeating in here, which gives me another three a three seven pair. That's odd. That's five. These are not fives. That means that's a 5-9 pair, and this is a 1-7 pair. Excellent. I think that's all the odd digits. Yes, that's five of them. So all of these are even now. The definite four in here. This is not 2, 8, or 4. That's a 6. That's not a 6. This is 2 or 8. This is another 2 or 8. And there is a six somewhere in here, which means that's not a six. Don't know what these are. Um, yeah, I'm sticking to it. I keep saying that, but I am going to keep stick with the parity. I need only one more even, and I've got a four six pair. Yeah, it's two and something else. Don't know. Uh, let's three seven. So if it's three, that would be nine, which is possible. If it's seven, that would be one, which is also possible. Does give me a three, seven pair. Does allow me to actually think about what's the remainder of this column. So this is five, four, five. This is an odd digit, and it's not this five, and it's not this three, seven. This is one, nine, or three, seven. There's still plenty of choice. So what cages have we not used yet? Have I been able to actually clean this up at all? Not really. So was it one, six, or four, nine? Yeah, I'm not sure I can just yet. else can I do? And uh, let's think about sixes. So again, um, one, seven, two, eight, three, nine. These are my options because this is three or seven gone. Not three or seven, three, seven gone. It certainly could be 2-8. So 2-8 is good. Uh, I guess 1-7 is good. That would have to be 1. That would have to be 1. That would have to be 7. That's an option. That would be 3. That would be 9. That would be another 9. That would be a 7. That would be 3. I mean, hang on. Is that possible? That's 7. That would be 3. 7. 3. Yeah. And then in the two cage, sorry, in the three cage, if they're three, they have to be with nine, which also works. So this like ticks all the boxes, basically. If it is three, nine, I mean, that three is not here. That would have to be the nine. That would have to be the nine. That would have to be the three. So essentially, that would be seven, one. And again, that would be seven, one, four. So again, works quite well. And then obviously two eights, just like, I mean, other than it just it pairs up in here, and it's just like no impact. So not that helpful. Five cage. Yeah, just premature. Maybe I need to do a bit more Sudoku. Come on, Sleuth. Where do I take this? Essentially, there's a six with a two eight 
with a 3, 7, and it's not a 7. Uh, therefore, that's the 7, that's the 3, that's not a 3. And this is 2, 6, 8, 3. Definite 3. So the loose digit is the 2, 8, not the 6. So this is 2, 8, presumably can be 4, with this 2, 4, 8. Tons of options, tons of options. I need something to sort of help me resolve all of this. I'm just not quite seeing it. This 4, 6 is somewhere in here. Am I going to have to like color some of these things just to wrap it up, so to speak? That seven, remove the seven option, and the seven was wrapped up with a one, which I've now removed. So this is three, nine, or two, eight. Can I remove the three and nine at all? Not yet. Again, this can repeat, so 179 is fine. I think we're going to have to think about this 5 cage, which is, I'm not looking forward to that. 16, sorry, 1627, uh, 38, and 49. There's so many options. That just seems to be the constant repeat here is so many options. That three, come on sleuth, seven, seven, three. That tells me that this is inside the six, that's the one. That three has removed that three option and therefore that nine and that nine, that's a two eight pair. Two eight pair removes the three eight option, removes the two seven option only leaves me with one, six, and four, nine again. It's fine. The three in here means that this is nine, this is three, this is six. That gives me four, four, eight, six, eight, two, eight. Right. Um, that's kind of what I needed. Bit of progress. Two, three, six, not two, not eight. That's four. Excellent. Nine gave me five and nine. This is now a one seven pair in here. Whoop, that's not what I meant to do. Let's try that again. One seven, one seven. Is that helping? Not really. What am I doing with this? Let me just remove that, clean that. Uh, two eight gave me a nine, gave me a two. Not two, not two is two. Not resolved, not resolved. Right, I need to pencil mark a bit more so I can actually make some progress. Right, if this is one six, that's the six, that's the one. If this is four nine, again, that's the nine, that's the four. It's looking good. You can see seven, not in here. Seven is in there. Uh, and I corner pencil mark eight. Eight is in one of these two cells as well. That is the eight. Can I actually finish the eight? No. No, that's not two. That is eight. That's another eight. That is a two. Eight is in one of these two cells, that's the eight. That's eight done. Four is not here. Four is in one of these two cells, which removes the four nine option up here. That's one six. That gives me seven. One. Seven. 
one. So not one, seven or three, that's five, nine. And essentially it would have to be down here, the other five or well, nine is not nine. So that's four, five, that's a nine. This is three, five. And therefore this is, I'm going to say two, seven, except that's the seven, that's the two because of the seven. That's a four, five pair, not very useful yet. One, six, also not resolved. Three, five, also not resolved. Four, five as well, not resolved. Okay, just not resolved. Seven, that's a seven. I need a two, it's not in here, it's not there. That's the two. Three, a second four, five, then six and nine. And the six and nine is not in here. That's the four or five and it's not four. That's five, four, five, five, four, three, five. Excellent. I know what these are. They include a nine and a six. Just gonna write them. I mean, the nine has to be now in here. And that's not a nine. Then a six, and then something else. What is this something else? Three. Three, six pair. And there's a second one, seven, and a four, which is in here. That's one or seven. Not sure what this is. One, three, six, seven. Can I resolve these yet? Yes, that four gave me one, which gives me a six. One is in one of two cells. One's line up in here in rows two and three. That's a one. So I need a three, six and a five, I'm gonna say, and that's not the five. That's the five, that's the three or six. It's not a three, six, three, six. Still with the five nines, huh? They're st sticking around. Um, four, not here, not there. That's four. Three could be anywhere. So could the five. And the seven has to be in here. That's a three five pair. Uh, unresolved, but it does give me six and three and one and seven and six and one. On the home stretch now, I need a nine and a six. Not resolved. Oh, come on, Sudoku. Four, which can only be in here. This is not a six. That's a nine. That's six. That's nine. That's three. That nine gave me five, gave me nine and a five and I have not made any mistakes a three for the finish it's a fantastic puzzle book I mean once kind of in your head you get used to essentially just adding uh, the n to give you the options you can move a bit faster but until that point you're just sort of thinking a lot or at least I am right now as I said I may be tired um, hope that you guys enjoyed the puzzle. I'd love to see how you got on and uh, see you back for the next video. Bye-bye for now.